In a confidential letter dated March 22, 2023, Canadian Congressman Larry Maguire has urged the Canadian government to conduct a briefing to verify potential involvement in a secret program by Canada and the Five Eyes Intelligence Alliance, USA, Canada, Australia, United Kingdom, New Zealand. The program, as revealed by Jeremy Corbell on his weaponized podcast, supposedly revolves around retrieving and decoding materials from unidentified anomalous phenomena since the early 1950s. The intriguing request raises questions about the existence of clandestine operations in the realm of extraterrestrial discoveries and investigations. Meanwhile, the enigmatic discoveries continue with French tourists Etienne and Eliane Camel claiming to have photographed a mysterious form, approximately 20 meters long, moving through the waters of Lake Ness. Speculation points to the Loch Ness Monster, adding a touch of whimsy as the tourists, being French, humorously expected a giant snail in the Scottish lake. In the realm of theoretical astrophysics, Gaurav Khanna, a black hole physicist at the University of Rhode Island, proposes a mind-bending concept in a new study. According to Kana, Earth could be within a black hole, formed as part of our expanding universe within this cosmic entity. While this idea cannot be proven due to the black hole's colossal size, the notion adds a layer of complexity to our understanding of the universe. Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming experiences a mysterious event and officials demarcate parts of the park due to a new type of geyser violently erupting. The eruption, characterized by a porridge boiling with water, soil, and mineral deposits, is believed to be a result of an excessive amount of snow in Yellowstone in the past year. The peculiar geyser, situated near the renowned Old Faithful Geyser, captures attention and raises questions about the dynamic forces beneath the Earth's surface. The supernatural takes a dramatic turn as Father Carlos Martins, an exorcist in Detroit, recounts a violent exorcism where he was attacked by the possessed man. The severity of the encounter resulted in a fractured skull, requiring two surgeries for repair. Father Martins also notes the possessed individual's uncanny accuracy in spitting and vomiting projectiles, adding a chilling dimension to the challenges faced by exorcists. Nick Pope, a prominent figure in UFO research, suggests a power struggle behind the scenes at the Pentagon. Recent revelations by former U.S. Air Force officers regarding downed alien spacecraft undergoing reverse engineering at secret U.S. military sites have sparked intrigue and speculation within the UFO community. The unfolding narrative suggests more than just a quest for extraterrestrial truths but potentially an internal power struggle among UFO experts. Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb ventures into the Pacific in search of the remains of the first recognized interstellar meteorite, Imon. His discovery of a strange curly wire, labeled Eisen II, with peaks of manganese and platinum composition, adds a mysterious twist to the cosmic narrative. The unconventional composition raises questions about potential extraterrestrial influences on celestial bodies. Archaeologists in Romania uncover a burial mound dating back 1,800 years, revealing intriguing practices of the past. A grave containing the skull of a wolf, left by a former grave robber to ward off avenging ghosts, adds an element of superstition to ancient beliefs. Another grave with an intact skeleton, containing a coin meant to pay the god Sharon for safe passage to the afterlife, reflects unique rituals that mix spirituality with practical considerations. In the realm of cryptozoology, a resident of Pike County, Arkansas, claims to have found 16-inch, long footprints believed to be from Bigfoot. The absence of additional physical evidence prompts a humorous inquiry into whether Bigfoot measures tracks in male and female sizes, injecting a lighthearted note into the search for this elusive creature. Moving to the realm of the supernatural, parishioners in Santa Fe, Argentina, report witnessing a statue of the Virgin de los Dolores, seemingly crying for about 30 minutes. The tears, rolling down the statue's face, 
lead to an investigation by the local archbishop to determine whether it's a hoax or a miraculous occurrence, sparking discussions about the intersection of faith and the unexplained. The push for psychedelic legalization finds an unlikely ally in a story from the Columbia jungles. Four children, found 40 days after a plane crash that killed their parents, credit their survival to drinking a Yahuasca tea. The hallucinations and visions experienced by one of the researchers after the second drink lead to the successful search for the children, adding a surreal dimension to the debate on psychedelics. Texas residents are warned about the chupacabra with a study by AgriLife Extension of Texas Autumn University suggesting that the mythical creature is likely a coyote or raccoon with scabies. The caution extends to potential transmission of scabies to humans, highlighting the need to avoid contact with the alleged cryptid. A Japanese company named NARC plans a floating city likened to Noah's Ark, intended as a self-sufficient habitat for 40,000 residents capable of surviving an apocalypse. The proposed Ark includes habitable zones, an underwater data center, medical research facilities, and even a sports stadium. The ambitious project sparks thoughts about the future of humanity in the face of potential catastrophes. As climate change becomes a growing concern, a study reveals a surprising correlation between hostile dog, human interactions, and extreme weather conditions. Dog bites are more prevalent on hot, sunny, and smog-filled days, highlighting the impact of climate on animal behavior and the need for awareness in such circumstances. The scientific community explores the consequences of long-term remote work in a study that envisions the evolution of the human body after 70 years of working from home. The threed model of a future remote worker reveals potential health issues, including poor posture, claw-shaped hands, visual fatigue, and weight gain. The speculative scenario prompts reflection on the transformative effects of modern work habits on human anatomy. Groundwater redistribution emerges as a surprising contributor to Earth's rotational dynamics. A study estimates that humans pumped 2150 gigatons of groundwater between 1993 and 2010, causing a sea level rise of over 6 millimeters. The redistribution of mass further resulted in the Earth tilting almost 80 centimeters east, introducing the concept of rotational pole drift into the scientific discourse. In a botanical breakthrough, Molecular biologists from the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro de Janeiro discover cannabidiol, CBD, in the fruits and flowers of a common plant known as Trima micrantha bloom. The plant, considered a weed in many areas, laxic and could potentially become a cost-effective source of medical CB. The unexpected source raises questions about the diversity of plants containing valuable compounds. Advancements in space cuisine take center stage as the European Space Agency tests a hot oil fryer designed for use in space. The automated fryer, housed in a sealed carousel container, aims to provide astronauts on long space missions with a taste of familiar comfort, crispy fries. The positive reviews from evaluators emphasize the importance of maintaining a sense of culinary normalcy in the extraterrestrial environment. Germany's best-selling newspaper, Bild, faces a crossroads amid financial problems and a sex scandal. The editor announces plans to replace most published content and all editors with artificial intelligence, AI, marking a significant shift in the media landscape. The integration of AI raises concerns about the future of journalism and the role of technology in shaping public discourse. Archaeological Discoveries in the La Roche Cotard Cave, 